Hey, Rob here for Quadratech.com. Today we're out at Highline Off-Road's headquarters and manufacturing facilities in Perkasie, Pennsylvania, just up the road from Quadratech. We're going to walk you through how they make their popular JK Front mid-width winch bumper from start to finish, taking it from a raw piece of flat steel to the finished product ready to bolt onto your Jeep. So let's not waste any time. Let's go check out how they get things done here at Highline Off-Road. All of the products made by Highline Off-Road are designed and engineered using SolidWorks 3D modeling software. The cutting program is loaded onto the Bistronic 4400 watt laser. This laser cutter is a fully automated machine that can run 24 hours a day without an operator present. A 4 by 8 foot sheet of 3 16 inch thick raw steel is loaded onto the moving cutting table, then moved into the cutting area of the machine. The 4400 watt laser cuts two bumpers from each sheet. Once all the laser cuts are made, the cutting table moves back out to the loading area. Ready to be sent to the shakeout table. The scrap steel is separated from the laser cut bumper components and loaded onto a skid headed for the press brake. This press brake is a 10 foot long Cincinnati 135 ton model that uses a top and bottom die to bend the main section of the bumper into the correct shape. An operator uses a smaller press brake to form the bumper end caps that were cut from the same sheet. The end caps are MIG welded to the main section of the bumper as well as the mounting brackets and recovery points. After all the welding is complete, all of the exterior welds are ground with a disc grinder. Then all of the grind marks are removed with a random orbital sander and the exterior weld seams are blended into the surrounding steel. The assembled bumpers are loaded onto a conveyor belt that takes them through the acid rinse process. 
The acid is sprayed from all sides and removes any laser scale from the cut edges as well as any grease or oil that builds up during the manufacturing process. Once they pass through the acid rinse and the dryer, the bumpers are ready to make their way over to the e-coating line. E-coating is a process that applies a protective covering by submerging the entire bumper in tanks of electrically charged paint. After the bumpers are hung from the overhead conveyor, they begin a two-hour journey through 10 stages of cleaning, rinsing, zinc phosphate coating, and electro coating. After the last e-coating tank, the bumpers head up to the roof-mounted oven to spend about 50 minutes curing. Once cured, every bumper is inspected to verify complete e-coat coverage. Then the bumper is wrapped to prevent any dust from laying on the surface as it travels to the powder coating facility. The powder coating process begins with covering the threads on the mounting bolts to keep them free from any powder coat. Then the entire surface is cleaned with compressed air. The spray gun applies an electrostatic charge to the powder particles which attracts them to the grounded bumper. Once the bumpers are completely coated in powder, they are put into a curing oven where the coating hardens. Now the finished bumpers are wrapped in plastic and placed into custom-made packaging to ensure they arrive safely. All Highline Off-Road bumpers use the same e-coat and powder coat process to ensure your bumpers will look great for years to come. Of course, if this is your first time watching, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you'll always be the first to know about all the latest product news, how-to videos, and more. Then click on the Highline Off-Road Jeep to shop all Highline Off-Road products today.